Hey there, puppies. So at this point, we've told you about several things. We've told you about uh, the derivative function and what that tells you about the original function. And we've also told you about this second derivative function. And we've told you some relationships between these things, like if the original function is increasing, then the derivative is positive. Or if the original function is concave down, then the second derivative is negative, things like that. But there are more relationships that we may not have told you so clearly, or relationships that it's important to remember just by like having them in an organized place. And so what we're doing in this nice short handy dandy video is making a chart of all this information. So let's get cracking. Here's what we're looking at. We've got a chart that looks like this, and we're going to fill this in. So to start with, we're going to say, what happens if we know about positive, negative, increasing, decreasing, and concave up, concave down? So what if we know that f of x is positive? Can we conclude anything about the derivative or the second derivative? And actually, dudes, the answer is no. We don't know a damn thing about the derivative or the second derivative. And basically the reason why is because if you remember, the original function increasing tells you the derivative is positive. But here, just because the original function is positive, it could be increasing or it could be decreasing. So the derivative itself could be positive or negative. We just don't know. We don't have any information. And that's a good thing to know, because sometimes you'll see trick questions that say, if the original function is positive, what can you conclude about the derivative? And the answer is nothing. Shut up, go home, not a thing. And dudes, the exact same thing applies if instead of positive, we say that f of x is negative. We still don't know anything about the derivative, and we still don't know anything about the second derivative. All right, so let's talk about something where there is a relationship. What if the original function is increasing? Well, we already know, hopefully you remember, because this should have been like drilled into your stinky meat brains, you know that the original function increasing means that the derivative is positive. And that's for the derivative, but what can we say about the second derivative? Well, dudes, check it out. If the original function is positive, let's go back up here for a second, then we know that the derivative is unknown. But the exact same logic is going to apply here. If the first derivative is positive, then the derivative of that will also be unknown. Basically, whatever your function is, if your function is positive, its derivative could be anything. So we just don't know in this case what the second derivative is going to be. And we can conclude the exact same thing about uh, if we flip all of this stuff, if we flip from increasing to decreasing. Yeah, that looks terrible. Increasing. Positive changes to negative. And the big old red question mark changes to a big old blue question mark. No big deal. All right, dudes. And now finally, remember that we know information about concavity. So what if f of x is concave up? Well, the first thing that we know is that if f of x is concave up, then the second derivative is positive. It's the second derivative that tells us about concavity. So if f of x is concave up, the second derivative is positive. And now we want to fill in information about the derivative. Here's how we're going to do it. If we know that we've taken the derivative of something and we get a positive number, then that means that the thing that we took the derivative of should have been increasing. If we go from right to left, if we start with positive on the right and we go to the left, we should get increasing. So that means that if the second derivative is positive, if we move one step to the left, we should get increasing. And then, of course, the exact same logic is going to apply with uh, concave down and decreasing and negative. Concave up turns to concave down. Increasing turns to decreasing. And positive turns to negative. So, dudes, this is the chart. This is the thing that you should have engraved on your brains. And if you can write this chart out at the beginning of a test, then that's going to give you a huge advantage. That way you don't even have to remember it after you've written it down. And you can go back and refer to it and like visually see what is associated with what. Um, and a good way to help you remember this is to remember what happens if you go from right to left or from left to right. So if you go from right to left, if you have something on the right that says positive and you move to the left, then you get increasing. If you move to the left again, you get concave up. And then kind of the other way around, if you start with concave up on the left and then you move to the right, then it's going to become increasing. If you start with increasing on the left and you move to the right, you're going to get positive. 
And then of course the same idea for concave down and decreasing in negative. So hopefully that helps you memorize this chart. And uh, even if that doesn't, make sure you do know it because all this stuff is pretty important. All right, dudes, talk to you later.